and welcome to my channel. I'm Tazzy and today I'm going to be showing you some controllers. TGO who create interactive surfaces have launched a Kickstarter for their new controller. They were kind enough to let me come into their office and try it out and learn a little bit more information about it. The controllers they've created use finger proximity, touch, pressure and gesture. So they've mainly been created for VR uses but they are capable of being used for other applications. So I will leave a link below to the Kickstarter page so if you do want to back it there are different rewards including getting your own controller which is pretty cool. Um, you'll see why in this video. So the first part is going to be going through some of the creative processes um, and a bit more about the controller, some more information about it and then the second part we uh, got to try it in application so on some games and demos uh, but we will go into part one. So going through the ET process uh, means um, not only the product also the background and why we do this project and, and the designs and so on so, um, so from at the front page, you can see um, the the image here uh, represent ET originally, and is trying to uh, bring a kind of a more casual way. It's not too tacky, and so it's more soft kind of feeling. So, what is ET? Um, we're trying to build a device that can, because we are a sensing. Um, technology company so we trying to um, just using our technology to sense something and we just have that idea oh yes actually we can capture our hand and just using this um, proximity sensing then we can um, show the hand or use using the hand of the analog input into any type of um, analog um, application so that's uh, kind of a uh, first key point. So, um, so during the time we just brainstorming out and uh, finally we pinned out, oh actually um, the, the hand gesture uh, of the VR or like this kind of uh, digital application will be really nice inside to jumping. So um, we just, um, Search around what what kind of finger gesture or like finger control uh, on the market, and we find out there are a lot of glove or some like a controller that um, so either handheld or like glove they have like size issue and so on. So we come out with um, three different direction, and so this is um, this one direction, two direction and three direction. So this three direction um, represent different user case. So like this one we call it Wolf. That is a bit broken by the way kind of uh, so press on the top of hand so we can do uh, the trackpad here and the sensing on the top and uh, and this one we just place here but we find it like quite a struggle to actually operate it and the inputs are quite limited and this one we just using a simple concept of the cylinder so when you place on the hand um, so it will directly the trackpad will face you naturally so we saw this input are really good uh, into the uh, this kind of interaction no matter VR or like general PC uh, of the control. This one is the fourth iteration, version four. But during the the middle, we have like up uh, almost fifty different change of the design. We're trying to cover not only for male and also female, also kids. It's not only for gaming, but what? So we're just trying to using like drone to do the machine control. Because as long as uh, they receive inputs, then the ET send the input out. Um, for example, rotation, up, down, left, right, and analog or se analog sensing. For example, for the uh, right writing again, you have you can press hard or less. Because in joystick, it's really difficult to 
um, move like in between, right? So um, that's something the analog input is always really interesting. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so we, I think it's important to make a distinction. We are making the ET as a, a controller for broadly speaking AR VR, but it can also be used as a general purpose controller for gaming. We are developing a, a capability for it to for you to be able to map fingers and gyro movements into traditional games. So you will have access to all of the library of let's say Steam VR or PC gaming. Mm. Um, and because we are offering an, an open platform like C++, Python, SDKs, uh, you can use it to control smart home devices, drones, and anything else that we could potentially want or need. So after having a look at the process that took them to come to this design, which is, by the way, so good looking. It's just got a very nice, sleek, simple, design it's classy so now i'm going to show you a hands-on sort of like demo of them that i got to try uh, using three different games so the first application we tried it in was surgeon simulator and this was more using the control uh, in like a button mapped way so rather than you doing the action the re realistic action to replicate it in the game this is more like different gestures and actions would control different things. Oh, and just a quick note, this was my first ever time playing this game. I'd only, I'd not really seen anyone play it or how it's played other than like quick clips in like VR montages. Um, so yeah, I didn't do too great. <laughs> it was a really hard game, really hard game. So the second application we used it in used more of like natural actions to control the game how you've done those actions so it involves uh, picking stuff up and throwing things and some pointing and um, so this really if you grabbed something if you done a grabbing motion with your hand you would grab something in the game um, so it was more like that that realistic movement in to do that same movement in the game. Uh, it also involves some pointing. And yeah, the other thing you'll see is how snugly the controller fits. You kind of wear it, I guess, like a knuckle duster. Um, but you'll see like, even when I'm throwing, it, it doesn't like fling off at anything. It fits really comfy, which is really cool. And you still can like have full use of your hands when it is like on like this.
So the first game we played is called Boss Boy by a developer called Leon. It is in very early development and this involved having a slingshot and literally using it to hit people on a bus. So this game demoed it using a tracker, they are using the HTC tracker in this um, and it, use, it show, demonstrates how you can use it uh, for other gestures. So the gestures are really natural and intuitive and really easy and it's literally, it's slingshot, slingshot, literally. Um, so yeah, again, it just really shows an example of how intuitive this controller can be. So yeah, that is the ET controller. I'm really excited for this controller. I think it really changes the way that VR games can be developed and played um, and just adds a different way to control it. Not only that, I'm excited to see what people do with this um, in terms of using it for other applications, so controlling drones and use it like controlling smart houses or just in like other games. I would love to use this in non-VR games just as an alternative controller. Um, I thought like that would be pretty cool. I also really really love the look and the design of this. It is very good looking. I said that earlier and I'm just gonna say it again because sometimes it can be really hard to find really amazing tech that works really well and has a great function but also looks good. And especially being a streamer and content creator, a lot of the time, the stuff I use is on camera. So having something that looks good is important. It's definitely to me, I know I'm not alone in that, um, but for it to still be so functional in its design, but look good in its design, um, is, is great. It's really great. But obviously that's not the only great thing about it. And as well as the design making it look good and being really functional, it also makes it way easier to clean. The lack of joystick just makes it easier to clean. Just that it's one sleek cylinder shape just makes it so easy to wipe down. And at the time of recording this, we're on lockdown. Like, cleanliness is so important right now. Wiping down the things that you're always touching is extra important right now. And the fact that its design allows you to clean it down and wipe it down so easily. I think it gets an extra merit for that. Bex, also known as Trista Bites, also was there. Um, she's actually the one that helped me get this opportunity, so thank you so much, Bex. Um, so I'm going to link her video down below, and also I'll put it on the end cards uh, as soon as it is available. So if you are interested in backing the Kickstarter for all these controllers, the link is in the description below. You can also get a lot more information and more detail on them there. As well as checking out their Kickstarter, make sure you go and follow their social media, Twitter, Instagram, I'll leave all the links below. They're also on Discord, so you can join the Discord server and talk to the development team and everyone that has done an amazing job in creating these controllers in there. So I hope you enjoyed this video, it's a little bit different of what I normally make, um, but also, like, do I really normally make anything? I kind of have a load of stuff on here, right? Give the video a thumbs up if you did like it. Comment below, let me know what you think about the controllers. Let me know what you would want to play using them. Let me know if you have VR already or you're planning to get VR. 
subscribe to my channel if you want more content from me. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, it's at Tazzy or on Twitch, T A Z Z I X. Um, and you can find me on loads of other social medias, I'll leave all the links below. And I'll see you next time. Bye!